How's it going? I'm Andrew with Investors Hub, and we're doing a quick update video on Gritstone and Editas, which are two biotechs that we've talked about in the past. I will link those videos down in the description, and they'll also be at the end cards at the end of the video. And yeah, I just wanted to give a little bit of a stream of consciousness and talk about some things that have happened in both those biotechs and some of the trades that I've made in them. So as a quick disclaimer, I'm not a investing professional, nor am I a scientist. These are just my thoughts on some companies that I've invested in, and none of the companies that we talk about on this show, whether it be from our guests or myself, none of that is designed to be direct investing advice. So Gritstone. Gritstone is a half a billion dollar biotech, and they are currently doing research in COVID, in cancer, and in HIV. And they're going to be presenting data on September 17th at ESMO, which is the European Society for Medical Oncology. They're going to be presenting data related to their granite cancer treatment that involves taking samples from tumors, predicting the neoantigens that will be on those tumors, and then mixing those neoantigens in with an immunotherapy treatment so that your body can learn where and what the tumors are, and then your own immune system can then attack those tumors. And yes, they will be presenting data related to that on September 17th. So I wanted to clarify a mistake that I made last video, and I clarified it in the comments of that video, but I wanted to talk about it in this one too. So last week, I thought that the, uh, the abstracts for these presentations would be released on September 13th, and that is true. I was not wrong about that. The thing that I was mistaken about is that the mini oral session uh, abstracts are going to be released later than that. And the mini oral sessions are what Gritstone are participating in. And so their abstract will actually be released just after midnight on September 17th. If I'm going to be mistaken about a catalyst date, I would certainly rather be too early rather than too late. So I'm going to always err on the side of paranoia because holding through data you didn't intend to is a... Uh, a recipe for disaster, or it's a recipe for amazing success, I guess, depending on how lucky you are. So I spoke about how I would sell the stock if it got over $10, which I did. I liquidated it last Thursday. It popped above $10, and when I noticed that it popped above $10, I put in a trailing stop loss, and I got out at around $10.34, which was a gain of about 36%. And then I had another smaller play that was done in mid-August that made 17%. So Gritstone has been treating me very well. However, I did end up getting back in this morning, which I'll talk about in just a second. But why did it go up on September 2nd? Why did we see that little, I guess it was like an 8 or 9% pop? No press releases, nothing particularly exciting coming out. Uh, there was a video that went out on Fortune.com where the CEO of Gritstone was talking about making a universal COVID vaccine, but that video went public on August 31st. Could have taken a while for that to circulate because, as you know, I, I heard about it, right, and then I was trying to search it in Google, and I couldn't find it using all the keywords that I could think of. Uh, and then someone eventually just had to show it to me, and yeah, it was on fortune.com, so it was not a very well-publicized video, I think, so it might have taken some time for that to circulate properly. Uh, on September 2nd, it also opened above, Gritstone did, they opened above the 200-day moving average, and that's a good thing, so that could have been one of the reasons why it decided to run up. Then, pow, there was another big move that happened Tuesday, today, just after Labor Day, and they opened and ran up like 10% again. So I was like, well, I guess it's party time here. So I'm going to hop back into it. And I did. And once again, no real big news, no press releases, didn't see anything crazy on the internet. So I wanted to ask you guys, what do you think the reason that Gritstone is moving up is? Is it hype for the coral treatment? Is it the run-up for the event at Ismo where they're going to be talking about granite and their cancer treatments? So talk to us. So I still plan on exiting before September 17th, which is the Catalyst date, Ismo, um, and then I'll reevaluate where the stock is from there after the event, and I'll decide on whether or not I want to get back in it or not. So how is Editas doing? Well, Editas is the $5 billion market cap of biotech. They've got uh, 60 million shares that are in float. They're in Kathy Wood's ARC ETF, the ARKK. Um, they're doing work in CRISPR gene editing. 
and they have their Edit 101 treatment for Lieber, Lieber congenital amaurosis. It's a form of uh, genetic disorder that causes blindness in children. Uh, they've also got work in uh, blood diseases with their Edit 301 treatment. They got lots of stuff going on. So the most relevant one right now, I think, is the Lieber congenital amaurosis Edit 101 treatment because they're going to be presenting data related to that at the International Symposium for Retinal Degeneration, uh, and that is on September 27th. So they're going to be presenting on September 29th. And also good news, between our last video that we talked about edit and this one, they've finally made their program public. So we can actually see who's going to be presenting and when. I've also not seen any information with regards to early abstract release times, but if you have, leave that in the comments below. So I sold Edit for a 15% gain on Friday with the intention of buying back in if they opened up strong on Tuesday, the day after Labor Day, and they totally did. They ran up like 8 or 9% this morning. I bought in at $70.30, and then it pulled a little bit of a pump fake on me, and as of the time of me writing this, it's trading at about $68. I plan on hopping out eh, probably the week before the Rental Symposium at some point, barring something extraordinary happening. So yeah, no super exciting news for Editas. They, um, we learned last week that they're going to be doing some investor presentations on September 10th and September 19th. Yep, September 10th and September 19th, which I may sell before those. We'll see how I'm feeling. We also They also got on the Biopharma Catalyst week in review where they're talking about stocks to watch. So there's some attention that gets gleaned from there, from biotech investors and people who are interested in biotechs. So that's pretty cool. And uh, yep, yeah, so talk to us about some stuff you've heard about Editas. So yeah, if you like the video, please be sure to like, comment, and subscribe. We've got a giveaway planned in the works here, and we're trying to figure out exactly how we want to do it. So be sure to subscribe to the channel so you don't miss that. It'll be revealed during one of our future videos. And yeah, I'll see you again soon.